Welcome to another Z Code System video, guys. We are talking this week about the NFL playoffs as we go into the divisional round. Last weekend's wild card playoff round was brilliant. We had some great games going on, two major upsets with the Tennessee Titans knocking off the New England Patriots and the New Orleans Saints being knocked out of the playoffs by the Minnesota Vikings. So some big things happened last weekend, and we're going to see most likely some big things happen again this weekend with several underdogs who will be hoping to go on into the their respective conference championship games. So, of course, as always, we have our latest blog up at the Z Code System website. So go over there, read up all about the playoffs and the picks that we have posted, and you can get that information there. And you'll be able to see a couple of extra picks that we're not going to talk about on this video. We're going to give you two of the four games this weekend. And you can go over to the website and read up on the other two games that we are not going to talk about uh, as we go into the uh, discussion of the playoffs and our picks. Now, as always, you can go over to the Z Code System website and read up there about the other sports and other picks that we have and if I just scroll down here, you can see that we have some picks for the NBA January 10th coming up on Friday. And then you can also see other great blogs and articles, uh, such as our Formula for Success in 2020. And of course, you can look back at uh, the YouTube page here, the YouTube videos, and you can watch our basketball picks that we post uh, every week or the NHL picks videos that are posted. So all the various videos that are posted each week, you'll be able to find them on YouTube and get up to date on what is going on. So now guys, let's take a look at those two divisional round games I promised you as we head into this exciting weekend of NFL football. All right, so we're coming up on the 11th this weekend, which we'll see uh, for the NFL playoffs. And as you can see right here uh, on the side of our screen, we've got the scores from last weekend. And uh, that Minnesota-New Orleans game, very exciting game. That was uh, with the Saints coming up just a bit short there in overtime after it looked like they were going to come back and uh, pick up a dramatic win there. So, uh, and also one thing that you can see, all those games very close in the wild card round. Now, will we see the same games or the the score lines being similar uh, in this next round with teams playing very close football? Will it's a very interesting uh, thing to consider, and uh, we'll just have to see how that plays out. So, let's look at the games that we're going to feature. We're going to do two today, and you can check out the other two. On our blog and I'm going to take a look at uh, two games where you might say there could be an upset so let's start with the Houston Texans taking on the Kansas City Chiefs so the Texans will be going to Kansas City to Arrowhead to play the Chiefs now the Chiefs did play Texans the Texans in Kansas City already this year at Arrowhead and came up short they lost that game to the Texans and we can just go down and scroll over here to our head-to-head -head and take a look at this the Chiefs losing 31-24 to the Texans at Arrowhead Stadium. And now look at that. Twice that they have lost at Arrowhead to the Texans. But uh, I believe that game, that would have been in the preseason. So the, that one doesn't necessarily count quite like the one earlier this year, 31-24. And this year, the Chiefs did lose four games. They went 12-4 and four in the uh, AFC or in the NFL. And three of those four losses all came at Arrowhead Stadium. So I think you've got to consider a big undercard win right here for the Texans. The Texans uh, picked up a victory last weekend against the Buffalo Bills. They went to overtime, picked up the victory. The Chiefs obviously had the bye uh, in the playoffs. So we'll look at the Chiefs real quickly. Their last few games there, as we can see that, uh, they were able to beat the Chargers when they last played, and that came in December. So they've had a rest. They've been able to get their players uh, fit and ready for this game. But the Texans do have that momentum from winning last weekend. Deshaun Watson, uh, one touchdown through the air, two touchdowns on the ground. And I really like this Texans team to go to Arrowhead and pick up a second win 
on the road against Kansas City this year. Again, I go back to that. Everyone always talks about Arrowhead Stadium being uh, an impenetrable force, uh, a stadium that teams cannot go to and win. But three times this year, the Chiefs have lost at home. So I do like the Texans to win this uh, in an undercard uh, in undercard fashion, if you will, and to pick up the win to go on to the AFC Championship game. So we will see if that happens. But my pick is the Houston Texans. Now, let's take a look at one more game that is going on in the playoffs this weekend. And I think we'll look at the Seattle Seahawks and the Green Bay Packers. Now, again, a game that we could put an asterisk by to say this could be a possible underdog win. Now, the Seahawks go in as the underdogs, and as you can see there, the score prediction is giving us the Green Bay Packers to win this game. Now, interesting, Seattle has played much better on the road this year than they have at home. The Seahawks put together a 7-1 road record. The Green Bay Packers put together a 7-1 home record. So, two very good teams are going to be going at it right now. Now, the weather may play into the hands of the Packers here, because Seattle, of course, they play in the Pacific Northwest. Yes, it does get cold and rainy there, but that weather in Green Bay is going to be just a little bit different and could play into the hands of the Packers. Seahawks got a road win last weekend in the playoffs. They went to Philadelphia, won for the second time this season against the Philadelphia Eagles to eliminate them. So this is going to be a very, very good game. And again, I say a possible underdog win for the Seattle Seahawks. So let's look at the head-to-head -head real quickly. These two teams played last year in Seattle, uh, 2018 there, November 2018, and the Seahawks picking up the win. And look at that trend of the home team picking up wins for the last six games that they have played. So I think that trend is going to continue. Even though I like the Seahawks and I have said, yes, possible underdog win there, I do like this home field trend or this home team trend winning these games. So I'm going to back the Packers on this one. I love what Aaron Rodgers has done this year, and I won't be surprised if we see Green Bay in the Super Bowl this season. And I have to say, I wouldn't be surprised if I see them playing the Baltimore Ravens. Now, that's just my opinion. So uh, again, I'm going with the Packers here to pick up the victory, and they are burning red hot. Yes, they're coming off of a bye. Uh, Seattle coming into this game with that win last week. So again, I think that weather could play a key factor there. So guys, those are my picks this week here for our YouTube video for Z Code System. And you can go over to the blog and you can read all about that game for the Minnesota Vikings versus the San Francisco 49ers and that Tennessee Titans versus Baltimore Ravens matchup. We hope you guys have a great weekend with your divisional round playoff betting. Good luck with that. And let us know what you think on our YouTube page and on ZCodeSystem.com. We'll see you next week, guys. Don't forget to sign up for the VIP and get all of these tools when you, you, when you make your NFL or NHL or NBA sports wagers. This is a great tool to have when you make your sports investments. And I've just shown you a few things. You will be able to use so many of the tools that we have, including the playoff simulator and all the other things that we have, the different bots that we have and the uh, score predictors. So go and join today and use those to make your NFL bets with the Super Bowl coming up. So guys, good luck and we will see you soon here on Z Code System.